Have you ever hopped in your car? Started it up. Put it in drive. Only to find a mysterious OD off light on your gauge cluster. So if that sounds like you or sounds like anything that's ever happened to you, then don't worry. Today, we're going to be talking about everything to do with OD off, what causes the light to come on, what it means, and so much more. So definitely stick around because we got a lot of information right here in this video. Hey guys, my name is Kern and welcome back to Octane Street, the road here on YouTube that never ends. So OD off, what does it mean? Well, OD in this instance doesn't actually stand for overdose. It stands for overdrive and now that we know that we know that od off actually means overdrive off but before we get into more details about overdrive off and what that means let's go ahead and see what we must have done to cause that light to come on if you drive a 2005 to 2009 mustang like i do it's actually the flick of a simple button and the reason why you might have done this by accident without knowing is because unless it happens to you you're probably never going to know that this button is here and that's actually right here on the shifter so of course this is only for automatics but as you guys can see here pressing that will actually disable or re-enable overdrive off well there you have it now you know how you disabled overdrive and will no longer have to use every tech support's favorite tip of turning it off and back on again to make that light go away but all right so we know how to take od off but what exactly does that even mean well it has to do with your gears and more specifically your gear ratios so see all cars have overdrive and underdrive gears they both do different things and serve different purposes obviously overdrive gears are actually designed to sacrifice power in favor of fuel efficiency otherwise especially with current gas prices we'd all be burning a pretty big hole in our wallet and this is because overdrive gears always have a less than one to one ratio which can actually define them as an over or underdrive gear so for example if your vehicle has six gears if you look into it you might notice that your fifth gear is actually an overdrive gear so therefore it'll have something like a 0.9 to 1 ratio but you might be wondering what do these gear ratios even mean essentially a gear ratio is the amount of times your input shaft rotates in the same time it takes your output shaft to do one full rotation having said that you might be wondering why despite having the highest gear ratio why first gear usually tops out at a very slow speed? Well, I think Chris Harrington best answers this on Quora, albeit with a slightly condescending tone. What's important though, is that the higher the gear ratio, the more torque that gear will produce at the sacrifice of top speed and efficiency. Keeping in mind that this balance between torque, speed and efficiency completely starts to shift the further and further you go into your gears. But to cap it all off, let's use this image I drew of a gear cluster for my level one drivetrain's assignment. We see that the third gear has a gear ratio of 1.4 to one. This means the input shaft is rotating nearly one and a half times for every one full rotation that the output shaft makes. So while underdrive gears are great for making what feels like instant power, they're not as efficient to drive in as this increased speed on the engine's RPMs puts a large strain on your motor while also burning a lot more fuel. So as you can imagine, overdrive gears certainly have their place and purpose. Mainly, you're going to experience being in an overdrive gear when you're cruising down the highway, usually at 5th or 6th gear, assuming your vehicle only has 6 gears, and that way, your engine is able to stay at lower RPMs while turning the wheels at a faster rate. Now I really encourage you guys to look up the gear ratios of your car's gears because it's really cool to see the different gear ratios and make sense of how that translates to power when you put your foot down in said gear. So Kern, what does all of this mean and what does it mean when I have overdrive off in my car? Well, for starters, the car is going to feel a lot more sporty, a lot more fun, and a lot more exciting. It keeps you in those power gears. Of course, since the overdrive gears are disabled, it keeps you right where the fun is, the action. Essentially, it keeps you right where you want to be. The fuel gauge. Ugh. Don't look at that. Instead, focus on how amazing it is that with the click of a button, you're able to disable those granny gears and stay right in the action. Right where you want to be. That's exciting. 
So Kern, what does all of this mean and what does it mean when I have overdrive off in my car? Well, based on what we learned, it means that your car is going to disable those overdrive gears, meaning fifth and sixth gear, depending on how many gears your car has. Again, if you really want to know to the extent which gears are going to be disabled, feel free to Google your own car's gears and gear ratios, and you'll be able to tell if it's less than a, if it's less than a one to one ratio, that is an overdrive gear, and therefore that gear will be disabled. So with that being said, it means you're going to be staying in your power band for longer because you're going to stay in the power gears. And it also means that your car is going to be less efficient. So with that being said, you guys can use your own imagination as to when and where it would be suitable to disable those overdrive gears. An example would be on an on-ramp on a busy highway. If you want to make sure that you're not going to be slouching in those overdrive gears and you need that power right then and there, go ahead and disable overdrive and it'll give you that power, keep you in those second, third and fourth gears. So you know once you put your foot down, you're going to be able to overtake a car and get on the highway safely. All right guys, so I hope you've learned something in today's video. If you have, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you guys can ride shotgun with me in the next video. My name is Kern, this is Octane Street and I'll see y'all later.